Helen Dorch was born in Carnesville, Georgia in April of 1863. Her father passed away when she was 17, leaving Helen to fend for herself. She did go to Brunel, not when it was called Brunel College. She went here when it was Georgia Female Seminary. And actually, we don't have very many records from back then. We don't even have um, yearbooks. But she did attend here, and she did room with General Longstreet's daughter. Helen soon became known as the Fighting Lady, a champion of many causes. Lots of people, women in history anyhow, are known for one thing that they did well, but she did so much different stuff like environmental work and political work and then her labor work. Helen Longstreet was an accomplished leader. I like to think of it as her breaking through the glass ceiling well before that term was coined. Helen was appointed assistant state librarian in 1894, making her the first woman to hold office under Georgia government. She quickly began to lobby for legislation to make it possible for a woman to serve as state librarian. Helen married General James Longstreet on September 8, 1897. They married when she was 34 and the general was 76, and they got married at the governor's mansion in Atlanta. They only had just about three or four years from the time they were married till the time he died. He, he died in 1904. She and General Longstreet uh, sort of multiplied each other's efforts. I think she was encouraged by, by him, and he was encouraged by her, and they were a great influence on, on a large number of people. Serving as the postmaster of Gainesville from 1898, Helen became deeply involved in public affairs. I think you have to say she did just about everything. She published a newspaper. She wrote any number of articles. Reported to be one of only three women who edited newspapers in Georgia during that period of time. She was almost single-handedly responsible for the, the very nice marble post office that was built in Gainesville in 1909. Now Gainesville in 1909, you have to figure, was a tiny village with dirt streets. Now how in the world did Gainesville, Georgia get this magnificent building? <laughs> Helen is also credited with the establishment of the Longstreet Memorial Association, the commission of a portrait of General Longstreet, and the plans for a statue to be placed in memory of the general at Gettysburg. She was successful in many ways, but was unable to see the statue completed. She was involved with bringing the Confederate monument, that's a historic site in the square. It, it Gainesville, it was constructed in 1909, along with the United Daughters of the Confederacy. Uh, the other thing that uh, she left in Gainesville is the uh, monument on the general's grave. Next to her determination to defend her husband's name, Helen's greatest passion was for environmental preservation. Georgia Power wanted to build the dam to dam up the Tallulah Gorge, the river that goes through the gorge, and she fought them. She went to court several times to fight them. She called that a crime against nature, so she did everything she could to stop it, and she lost that legal fight, and she lost her home. She lost just about everything she had in that fight, and it didn't seem to slow her down at all. And it's appropriate that in 1999, the uh, trails at the gorge were named the Helen's Door Long Street Trail System. The preservation of Tulula Gorge or the whole impact of environmental conservation, that has an impact, you know, on everyone. During World War II, Helen worked as a riveter at the Bell Bomber Plant in Marietta, Georgia, gaining national publicity for her efforts to employ women in the defense industry. And when someone realized she was in her 80s and she suggested that she might want to retire, she said that her health was very good, her eyesight was as good as a 20-year-old. She never gave up, even to the last days of her life. If you mentioned something about General Longstreet, she was ready to defend it. She lived to, to 99, I believe, almost to 100 and was extremely active during most of those years. It is interesting that she never married again in her life and just dedicated herself to reclaiming his reputation and then building her own. I'll tell you the truth, I've gotten to be a, quite a fan. I really have. 